guys and welcome back to my channel. I am joined with Miss Ottie as we're going to be doing a little haul of everything we got today on our shopping trip. If you haven't already watched the previous two videos, um, they all lead up to this one, but you don't have to, you can just join in for our haul. So she's looking very cute. She's very tired after a very busy shopping trip. So let's get straight into that video. So the first shop we went to was Next and there were so many beautiful things that I could have bought but I had to try and keep myself pretty restrained because I'm still figuring out what I love and what I don't like in clothes. But I picked these up for Lola and I can't get over how cute they are. They're for the Queen's um, Jubilee. If you're from the UK you'll know what that is. And um, they're these just beautiful, I think they're supposed to be three quarter lengths, um, leggings and they're so soft and they've got like little cakes, the crown, hedgehog, um, a little, I think that's meant to be like a hair, tea, um, British, uh, coloured flags and balloons on mice and the queen's dog, the corgis and I couldn't, I couldn't leave them and I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They had a dress in the same pattern but it just didn't hit me as much as these little leggings. Um, so these were £4.50 in next and I am literally, I'm just, I can't get over how cute they are. They're so cute. Um, so I'm probably going to dress it in those for the Queen's Jubilee with a little top and something else that I'll probably find. But I just loved, loved, loved the pattern on those. And how could I say no? They were only £4.50. Look at the little bee. Oh, they're so sweet. So I picked up those. And then from Primark, I picked up this little top. Now I love Lola in this kind of top. Um, it's made out of like a, a really thin cotton, um, but I loved the details. So the little flowers, if I show you here, there's just blue, little yellow flowers. And I thought it was so sweet. And I loved the little detail of like the, um, the, like the ruched, um, sleeves on the, on the cuffs and I just thought it was such a pretty little top and on the back it just has these buttons that go down quite far down um the top if you can just about see them so they go quite far down to open it up I did get this in um size I think it was 18 to, yeah 18 to 24 months it has no given it whatsoever um so with things like this, I really like to size up a bit bigger for her just because of their arms on toddler uh, reborns don't bend like they would on a child. So you can't tell her to bend her arms to put it in the top, but I thought this was great. And for four pounds, how could I say no? Um, so that was that little top for her. I did also um, go into boots, but I did not pick anything up from Boots or Marks and Spencers. Um, I just didn't see anything that caught my eye and I do have quite a lot of um, bits already from Boots that I've already got that I don't need to buy um, seconds of right now. So I went into TK Maxx and I did film that, that was in my last video and I'm gonna show you what I got. I got some great Zara pieces from TK Maxx. First thing I picked up was this Zara um, long sleeve t-shirt. Um, I don't actually know how much this would originally be because it doesn't have the original price on it, but I paid uh, $2.99 from Zara and it's nine, in size nine to 12 months. Uh, this is a really nice stretchy fabric. So this will be no problem when um, I'm getting her arms in and out of it and over her head and things like that. So I didn't need to size up. Um, but I loved the collar, how it had this really pretty um, cotton collar on it. And it also has the ruched sleeves, which I like, but it could potentially be a contender for her to wear with her little leggings for the Queen's Jubilee, because I thought that would be a really nice um, outfit. At the end of this video, I will do a little um, fashion show with the babies and their new clothes just to give you um, an idea of how they look when they're on because they always look different on the hangers than they would when you actually put them on um, so I will show you how that all looks but I do think that'd be a really nice little outfit together. Um, another thing I picked up is this, I'm 
not too sure on the color would you say this is sage or mint um it's a little muslin um romper would you call that a romper um but it's by it's also by zara and this was 3.99 in the shop um and it again i don't i couldn't tell you what it is orig uh, originally because it doesn't have that on it um, but it's a super lightweight muslin outfit and i thought this was so sweet it's really gender neutral so i could put it on either the boys or the girls and it also has the lovely detail on the back of the little wooden buttons and the same underneath i can probably imagine on a real child this would be quite annoying because of all of the buttons and not poppers and things but either way it's really cute and i thought that was a really nice bargain next is this little um i bought these separately this little two-piece set but i brought it with crew in mind because i absolutely love the pattern on this so it's ribbed and it's striped and it's sort of like a, a khaki green and um, a blue i just thought they were really sweet um this is by the brand name it um i've never really heard that but I really just liked the set it didn't come as a set so I found this in the newborn section this is two to four months and this is sort of one of my problems with TK Maxx not everything comes as a set so I saw these and I really liked them but they weren't a set together and the only trousers I could find were six to nine months but I have a plan um, I'm gonna take them in um, I think I have a sewing machine so I'm probably going to take them in because I thought this would be really nice for crews. So the trousers were $3.29 and the top was $3.99 and uh, the original price was £11 if that, that's in great British pounds. So £11 was that top, that top was supposed to be and the bottoms were £8. Um, but I just thought I really liked this part and I didn't want to leave it. So we're gonna see what magic I can work with a sewing machine. <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna move on to the little accessories I got. So these are the last things I picked up in TK Maxx. Um, so we'll start with this little bonnet. I found this bonnet um, for $3.99 and it's um, from Zara, <laughs> obviously. Um, and I just loved, loved, like fell in love with this little crochet bonnet. Um, so I thought that'd be a really nice um, addition to my collection. And then I got Fia a lot of socks. <laughs> um, and you're gonna laugh because some of the size of these socks are huge. However, I have a fun for them. I know I can do something with them. So I thought I would pick them up. So they're all from Zara yet again. So I got these. Um, these are the biggest ones I picked up, but with what they are, I can sort of, you'll see, I can style them to sort of fit a body. Everybody sort of knows how to do that with socks. It doesn't really matter as long as they're not ridiculously big. Um, but these were $1.99 and they've, they're just um, a coral color and a sage green color and they have a crocheted frill around them. So I thought they were really nice. The next set are much smaller, um, so these will be more ankle style for her. So these are in like a, the camera's not picking this colour up very well, but it's sort of like a, a dusty red um, and like a sand or caramel colour I'd say. And they were also $1.99 and again they have the crocheted frill around them. And then I picked up, <laughs> I love these, these um, socks. These are gonna be a bit longer on her. I really liked these ones. These were also $1.99. Um, I just thought they were really fun for some of her outfits. So I picked up them. And last but not least, um, I picked up some Zara um, Christmas socks. Christmas in April. <laughs> um, so these ones just have little reindeer on and they say Xmas mood on the bottom. And then these ones are just plain red with a reindeer with some detail at the top and they say cool Xmas on them. Um, and the best thing about this is because dolls don't grow, you can actually keep them and use them every year if you really want to. But these are on sale for three pounds. So I found these for three pounds, but I thought they were really nice. So I'm now gonna insert 
a little um, video of the babies wearing their clothes just to give you an idea of how I would style them and give you a better idea of what I've got and how it'll look. Oh my god. So here's my little model for outfit number one. Um, this is Otty wearing some of those socks with this little romper and her little bonnet. Oh my god, she's so cute. So that's what I, well that's one way I'd style this. I'd style it differently for a boy. Um, I'm thinking layers, like a little cardigan, but I do think that looks so cute on her. And she looks adorable. So here's little Miss Thea, ignore her messy hair, um, modelling her little Queen's Jubilee outfit. So they are three quarter length, which I love. So here's the, the little leggings with the white top with this collar. I think it looks really, really good. And then I've paired it with some red vans uh, for a proper colour and her little white frilly socks. So that is the next outfit. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Okay, this has to be my favourite outfit on her. So I've just done a hair in a little ponytail with a bow and let all the wispy bits fall down naturally. And here is the top. And I've just paired it with some like oatmeal coloured leggings, her green Zara socks and some little brown shoes. I think she looks adorable. I think she looks absolutely adorable. <laughs> this outfit's gorgeous on her. And the green on her um, socks, you can't really tell, but it matches the little green leaves in her top. And that's definitely one of my favourites. Last not, but not least is little Cruz outfit. It is a little bit big on him, um, but I think I like that. I like that it's not like a snug fit. It looks like it should be oversized. Um, I need to cut out this tag. This is the biggest tag I've ever seen and they aren't on backwards either. That's on the front for some reason, um, but it is a bit big. But like I said, I do like it and I think it really suits him. He just looks dead tiny and cute and cosy. So that is all the outfits on all the babies. I'm so happy that you've hopefully stayed till the end of this video. And please join, um, join with me next time on my channel and see what else we've got in store. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.